New York City officials are calling on the federal government for help as the line of asylum seekers in Manhattan outside the Roosevelt Hotel grows. The hotel is both an arrival center for migrants where they can get vaccines, food and other resources, but it is also a humanitarian relief center that is housing families with children. We met this family from Venezuela. Andres arrived by himself last year. His wife and four-year-old daughter followed in May. She spent five days in the jungle. She says it's very, very difficult. Many of the people in line over the last several days have been single men, but there are single moms too. Migrants like Vanessa tell us the journey from Honduras has been dangerous and exhausting, but she risked it all for her sons. She says they were hungry, they were cold but she made it. Unlawful entries along the southern border have decreased 70% from their record highs since the end of Title 42 in May, according to the Department of Homeland Security. ABC's Mireya Villarreal traveled to the border where a 1,000 foot floating barrier of large buoys sits across the Rio Grande, forcing migrants into deeper water and then through razor wire along the banks of the river. People here that traveled with us have said if groups want to get around this barrier, they'll find a way. The Justice Department is now suing Texas after Governor Greg Abbott refused to remove the barrier.